This video will be all about the thought processes that go into buying an Android TV box. Maybe you've got a brand new 4K TV and you want to get the absolute most out of that. Maybe you enjoy Android gaming. Well, some of the brand new Android games we see nowadays require pretty good hardware. And we'll show you which Android TV box can handle that. Well, this video is going to answer those questions for you. My name's Matthew and welcome to the MXQ Project. So maybe you've just bought a new 4K TV and you really want to just make the most of it. You really want to utilize it to its full potential. So what sort of TV box can you buy to make sure that you're going to be getting great 4K quality? Well, there's things like the H96 Pro here. For example, it's a really cheap little stick. It's running the Amalog like S912. And a standard nowadays, any device you can find, the processors that they come equipped with are going to be able to handle 4K relatively easily. Now this brings us on to the second kind of thing you need to think about, which is where you're going to be getting your content from. Because there are things like YouTube, there's a lot of people uploading 4K content now if that's what you're into, but it's going to vary wildly in quality, so you're never really going to be sure what you're going to get. There's also Netflix now, they have a price plan that they've introduced where you can watch Ultra HD content as they call it, so there's that as well. Or maybe you just want to use Kodi and you want to use some third-party add-ons. Now, what you need to bear in mind with these add-ons is that a lot of them boast about 4K quality videos that you can stream and things like that. But more often than not, the case is going to be that it's not going to be true 4K quality. Because there's a lot of uh, high levels of compression going onto these files and they're being re-encoded and re-encoded to lower the file size down and so you're just going to get a kind of compressed 4K quality. It will be at a 4K resolution, but the quality will not be as you would expect from, say, a 4K Blu-ray. So you've got your new 4K capable uh, TV box, and you've got your new 4K TV, and you've got some content you want to watch on it. Great. But there's one more thing that we need to cover um, to determine whether or not you're going to be able to actually watch this stuff and watch it at uh, decent quality without any interruptions or buffering and things like that. And that is, of course, the internet connection you're using to stream this stuff. So this brings us on to Wi-Fi capabilities, which is another big uh, consideration you're going to have to make when choosing a TV box. Because nowadays, the, uh, the standard set by these things is 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Now, chances are, if you've got a new router, or if you've just had a new fiber optic uh, broadband installed and things like that, then you're going to have a router that's capable of handling a 5G connection. Now, this has its own advantages and disadvantages. The main advantages are that it can handle uh, larger files very quickly, and it's a very quick, very speedy connection. The drawbacks, though, are that it only works best over a short distance. So the closer you are to your router, then the better the Wi-Fi connection you're going to get. But if you have, say, a TV box upstairs in the bedroom and you're quite a bit away from your router, then you're going to still be stuck with a 2.4G connection. Now, that's absolutely fine. People have been using those for years and years, and so have the TV boxes. So it's just going to be that little bit slower. So if you can get a 5G connection, then that's going to be better for you. But if you're using, say, an MXQ box, for example, the S805 edition, then you're only going to be stuck with a 2.4 gigahertz connection because these boxes are a few years old now and they're the only uh, connection that they can handle. So if you're happy with that, then maybe you want to go for a cheaper box, but if you're looking for the 4K content and things like that and you want to be able to use a faster internet connection you're able to do that, then you may be going to want to think about something like the H96 Pro again. Um, because this has got 5G Wi-Fi built in as standard into its Wi-Fi chip and you're going to be able to get a really fast connection and play back those 4K files with absolute ease. So let's talk a little bit about gaming now, as we mentioned in the intro. Now there are a lot of users on our forums, on our Facebook group and the YouTube channel that like to use their boxes to get a bit of gaming done. So if you're one of those people, you're going to be wanting to look at a TV box with a higher end processor, make sure it's got plenty of RAM and things like that. So the Amlogic S912 boxes are going to be ideal for this purpose really. You may have seen uh, in the past some of our reviews on these boxes like the B-Link G2 on Ultimate, the T95Z Plus and even the Mi Cool M8S Pro. These can all handle gaming pretty damn well because they were never made for this uh, purpose you're never going to get a triple a experience out of them or a next gen experience but you're going to get a pretty streamlined kind of gaming setup if you buy one of these boxes and you're going to be able to play some of the higher end android games like asphalt 8 the modern combat series and things like that so you're going to be wanting to look at those sort of boxes 
Now, emulation as well. Even the MXQ S805 can handle some emulation pretty well. So if you're looking to just emulate things like Super Nintendo, Nintendo, the Sega Mega Drive or Genesis and things like that, then you could get away with just using an MXQ S805 box because these boxes can handle these things really well. The same with PlayStation and things like that, you're going to be able to do it on the MXQ and the older boxes, but if you wanted to do things like Nintendo 64 maybe, Dreamcast as we've seen in the T95Z video, then you're going to need the higher end stuff if you're going to be emulating higher end hardware. So which version of Android should you be buying? Well, at the moment we're seeing Nugget TV boxes available. We're also seeing Marshmallow. It doesn't really matter which one you buy, because they're going to be pretty much doing the same thing. Now, a lot of these boxes are really good for tinkerers like us at the MXQ project. You can boot all sorts of different things for them, as long as of course they're running analogic processors. But if you're not interested in that and you just want something that's really well made, put together as well as obviously receiving Android system updates then I'd recommend you go for a Xiaomi Mi TV box. We can't do anything else but run the firmware available on this but they are really well made. This comes with Android TV firmware which means it's set up specifically to be run on a TV. Now as well as that it's also officially supported by Google so you've got voice control etc available for this TV box. But again it's totally locked down, it's got unrooted firmware so we can't do anything else. It also doesn't have a micro SD card slot like we see on most TV boxes, so the amount of memory is totally limited to 5 gigabytes, which is not a lot really. But there we go. I would highly recommend this box if you just want something that works really well. As well as that, you could maybe opt for an Amazon TV stick or an Amazon TV boxes. Again, those two devices come with really good firmware and do what they say on the box. But as far as doing anything else with them, it's totally locked down and you can't do anything. But there's thousands of TV boxes out there that you can actually tinker with. You can boot Ubuntu, you can boot LibreLec, as well as that. And that's what we really enjoy doing here at the MXQ project. So ultimately, which box should you buy? Well, it's a really tough question. There's so many TV boxes available on the market, but it's very hard for us to actually show you which box you should be buying. If you're tinkerers like us, and you love messing around with maybe old hardware, and you just want something cheap just to play around with, then I recommend, I do, get an MXQ S805. They're very cheap. You can pick one up for maybe less than 20 quid, and you can maybe put LibreLec on it and play around with all the different things what we've shown on this channel. If you're wanting something a bit more hardware intensive, like you're wanting to do some gaming, or you want to get a really fast Wi-Fi connection, you want to be able to handle 4K, then go for something like the Amlogic S912 or the S905 type processors, such as the H96. Again, we've showed this quite a few times, but yeah, you want a bit of advice with, with a processor like the Amlogic S912 that like this device has, because it's going to be able to handle your gaming really fast. You're going to be able to get a decent internet connection to stream in that 4K content, and it's just going to be very quick and a very speedy box. This Xiaomi actually has the S905X. This can handle 4K as well, but this is one of those boxes that is totally locked down. So if you want just something that just works and you're not going to be doing anything else with it, then something like this, or maybe even an Amazon product, that would be the sort of device that you would want to go for. So in conclusion, you've really just got to ask yourself these questions. What are you going to be using it for? If you want in 4K content, uh, if you're going to be able to use a fast internet connection on it for the things you want to do, or if you just want something that's going to be easy to use and you just want to use stock Android on it, then you're going to need to take all these things into consideration. Don't forget, build quality is really important. The amount of really crappy boxes I've seen over the years is really, it's really ridiculous, really. So you need to spend a fair amount of money to actually get a decent quality box. So something like a B-Link box is going to ensure that you receive a really high-end device that's not only got decent hardware, it's built properly as well. So that is pretty much it for this video guys, we really hope you've liked it and we hope that we haven't rambled too much and you kind of get a grasp of what we've been trying to put across. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, if you liked it give us a like, if you disliked it give us a dislike, that's fine as well. And don't forget that we've still got the TX2 giveaway going on and we're going to be announcing that once we hit 2000 subscribers. Thanks for watching guys and we shall see you in the next one.